So I got him caught. That ear looks so, I don't know if I can get a picture. It's so painful. This poor little guy, I know he's probably had the ear like that for at least six months since I've seen him running around. He screamed when I touched his ear, you guys. I felt so bad and he screamed for a long time. Talk about almost making me cry. So I put some vegetable oil in it to kill any of the alive mites and then I added then I gave him two dro I gave him drops, several drops of this aratomite. It works amazing for rabbits because I've used it on all my rabbits and I love this stuff. I put it in both ears because he probably has them in both, but it's really bad in this ear right here. Um, I'm going to give him some food and water, let him get settled in. Um, he's probably really sick from the ear mites, so I'm just going to keep him in here, try to get him more comfortable with me. He, I picked him up and he was fine. His, I think he's just in so much pain. Um, these people last night chased him around trying to catch him because they wanted a free rabbit. Well, you know what? Um, they, they totally terrified him. And him and I were kind of coming around to a agreement because I fed him every day. Um, but I, I just feel like it set us back a long ways. Rabbits do learn to trust people. Um, but I'm going to get him some water and food and just give him some time to get settled in. He hasn't been in a cage for a lot of years. I think he's been out in that, in that alley for at least a year, if not a year and a half. So I want to get him healthy. That's my main concern. I do like to rescue rabbits. And he's definitely what I would consider a rescue. If you could see that ear, that poor ear. Oh, poor little guy. I just feel so bad for him. So um, we're going to let him. He's, he looks terrified right now. And I'm not going to sit and bug him. So I'm just going to give him food and water. And let him get settled in. He's got hay. Um, I'll give him some Timothy hay too. I've got some better hay than that. And let him get comfortable. Let him know that I'm not going to hurt him. When I touched his ear, he probably thought, oh, this woman's going to kill me. So he's terrified right now. So I feel bad. So I just want to let him know that he's okay. And that's going to take time. And you know with rabbits, it takes time to earn their trust. So I'm really upset with those people that chased him around. I mean, that's horrible. But with that medicine now, he sh I, I don't know how long it's going to take for him to start feeling better, but I hope the sooner the better. I feel so bad for him to feel so bad. He, you know, I really think he's a sweet bunny who just has had some hard luck. People shouldn't let rabbits go, domesticated rabbits go, because things like this happen. And he's a smart bunny. He's been able to make it on his own all this time. But he can't get rid of ear mites on his own. And that's why we shouldn't let domesticated rabbits go. That's my opinion. So I'm going to, and he would get hit by a car. He's been hanging out in the street out by my house too. So I don't want him to get hit by a car either. So I want to get him well and I'm going to find him a home. Poor little guy. He's really sweet. He looks like he's stressed out. I may turn on my air conditioner since it's warm today. and. Get him some nice air in here. I just feel bad. And I need to determine if he's really a buck. I assume he is, but I've never checked. Someday, when we get to that point, we'll check. But I want him to get some water. He had some water outside. I, I had a water bottle out for him. He was drinking out of the water bottle, so I know that he, he knows how to drink out of a water bottle, so that's good. We'll get him some water and food. I'm repeating myself, so I'm going to let you guys go. Please, please keep watching, and I'll keep you updated. I'm going to do some more things. We're going to check his temperature when he's more comfortable. Um, I'm going to show you how to groom him. I'm going to show you how to trim his nails. I'm going to show you how to treat his ears again when I actually feel comfortable holding him. I didn't want to do it in front of the camera right now because I don't know how he's going to act. I don't want him biting me, and, you know, he... Bunnies can be real mean if they want to. So anyway, thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.